Hi everyone, um, this is a, uh, an animated video that goes through the steps involved in marking out a layboard and the uh, jacks that goes onto the layboard. So um, we're going to uh, look at the first uh, drawn here, which is a part plan view of the dormer itself. And uh, just to give you an idea of uh, what it is we're looking at, that's the door, that's the layboard there. Uh, so um from this view um you know um this is the high point of the labor uh, layboard and this is the low point of the layboard so um coming into screen here again is an animation of the layboard dropping into position just so you see it from the side view perspective on that dormer and here you have the main rafter on the main roof coming down here by the way in gray and uh, just to uh, give you a visual on it and if you look, this is the edge of the layboard you're looking at here, and that's the sharp point, and there's a uh, an obtuse point at the back. So the angle you'll be cutting there later on when you are cutting it, you'll be setting your skill saw to that angle. So whatever the angle of the main roof is, that's the same angle there, or same pitch. You know, um, the top edge, as you can see here, is just a square. The skill saw is left at 90 degrees when you're cutting that cut. That uh, we won't see from this perspective the actual cut, but. Um, just to give you a visual or uh, help you visualize uh, how it's all brought together. So here's your jacks dropping into place. Here's the next jack dropping into place. So let's get into it. Um, to uh, start measuring for the layboard uh, run, there are two measurements we need. And we can mark, th mark this off the square end of a sheet of plywood if the roof is that small. Uh, <coughs> and anything bigger than that, you might have to put two sheets together or make a bigger L of two straight edge or two straight rafters and uh, make sure they're 90 degrees to each other is another way of doing it so the first measurement we need uh, is um, the layboard run as i call it so we take a vertical line as it were from the uh, <coughs> this is the front view of the uh, dormer and uh, take that distance that's now animated in black coming across here horizontal to the back of the uh, Dormer common rafter, which I've shaded in here in blue just to make it a bit to make it stand out uh, a bit better so um So those are two common rafters shaded in blue and I've gone to the I've got that line has gone to out to the back of the rafter here This is the distance I need from here to here So there's various ways you can calculate it. So obviously this is a C cut line So the C cut line uh, that forms the bird's mouth you just extend that out to the back of the rafter uh, you can calculate it, I suppose, if you want from take the span of your dorm or, um, you know, minus the thickness of the ridge and divide by two, mathematically get it as well. So just getting back to what the point I'm making, this is the distance, one distance we will need to, to write down to um, to uh, find out what is the lengths and angles of our labor. So uh, take note of that distance as the animation is um, emphasizing here. And... Um, I've color coded here in green, so as you'll see that later on as we go into this lesson, uh, I use the same colors. Uh, so that's the horizontal measurement there. So having got that measurement, uh, the next measurement is the measurement going the other direction, which is up along the main roof, which is 90 degrees to this. So, by the way, that's I just shaded in a yellow there, just from this perspective, so as you can appreciate uh, where the layboard is in relation to the rafters from this perspective. And as you can see, this edge of the layboard and this back edge of the uh, common rafter have to be on the same line or same inclined plane. So um, here we have a um, nice symmetric view, you may say, uh, looking from above. And I've just uh, made an animation of that layboard so you get another perspective again from it. And in blue here, I've showed the main roof so you can differentiate quickly uh, between the two roofs, the dormer roof and the main roof. So that's why the Main roof is colored blue. So, yeah. so here is your layboard again coming into position. So you can see there. And um, just a little point here I want to make. Uh, you see that there is my uh, red extended secret line that I talked about earlier on when uh, getting the uh, the distance, the run, the, the, the run distance for the layboard. Uh, that same distance then needs to be marked in out in from the edge later on from your... Um, Layboard. So this red distance and this red distance are the same. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'll put a little line there then, and that line lines up with the outside face of the wall plate. So if you if you keep that distance correct there, then you know the back edge 
of your layboard, which is here, and all the back edges of these other commons are on the one plane then. So that's why that's sticking out there, so as to ensure they're on the one plane. So I'll just continue on here with the animation. So there's our layer board. And uh, so the second distance, basically you'll get a lat as just as arrived in there and keep it parallel to the main ridge board on the main roof. Bring it down that touches the ridge board of the Dharma. And uh, whatever the remaining distance is left, then you'll be measuring that as shown here. So you're going to measure that distance from here to here and take note of that. So that's the second distance I will need when I go down to mark this layboard off the side square. So just emphasizing the fact there with all measuring tape. This distance in yellow, which I've color coded a yellow. So I have two distances now I'm going to use, the green distance as it were, and the yellow distance. And here they are being animated. So, and I've written format there in the same color, basically ex explaining what I've done. And uh, here is the, uh, the, uh, the second distance I've just taken there, which was up along the main rafter. Uh, of the main roof and um, off that parallel lat uh, from the main ridge board we talked about. So once you've marked that marked, you just get your board that you're using for your lay board, which might be seven by one and a half, or metrically speaking, that'd be one seven five by thirty six, and line it up with those two points. This point here, back edge there, and that point there, and then you're going to draw a line in line with this edge of the squared. This is a squared piece of plywood in this case. As I said earlier, if it's a very large dormer, you might have to put two sheets of square into a square edged plywood or maybe two rafters square to each other to form a 90 degree L. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So this line then will be extended across the face of this layboard here and the same here. This line will be extended across here. And uh, if you want to use, if you want to set a bevel, between this angle and this line here, that's the same. That will be their same angle here, so that's fine too. And the same down here, you can set a bevel between that line and that line, and that will give you the angle drawn down along here, which is now going to be animated. So you can see here now we're going to draw in that line. Now you might just decide to get a straight edge and hold the straight edge in line with the edge of the plywood, and then draw the line. That's up to you which way you want to do it. But as long as you get those two purple lines drawn drawn in line with the edge, that's fine doesn't matter and of course they'll be getting cut off now so you'll take your skill saw and just cut it off as animated there obviously you'll take it away from the plywood of course I just animated here on the plywood which you'll take it away from the plywood and you'll cut both edges so the uh, pointier angle is usually the upper edge if you get confused when you go up on the roof the sharper point is usually the upper end of the uh, layboard and uh, just uh, there it is ready to be nailed up onto the roof so uh, here we are on the roof now and we're just popping the layboard into place and you can see the little mark I have here. There's my little mark and I'm going to line that up now at the outside of the wall plate, nail it into place and once it's nailed into place then in comes the jacks. Drop in my two jacks and nail them in. And uh, <clears throat> This line on the jacks by the way is the same angle as the uh, seat cut line on your commons here. And um, this angle here then will be the uh, pitch of the main roof minus 90 will give you this angle here so um, yeah so obviously the steeper this pitch of the main roof is the more pointier in other words this will be here so I'll just bear that in mind that's the uh, jack uh, coming into place um, here now okay so uh, next we need to uh, calculate the length of the jacks that goes down onto the layboard uh, shown here in yellow. So um, basically what you'll be doing is you'll hook your tape off the last common rafter which is going to be animated here now and um, you're going to put a mark on the layboard and you keep sliding your tape up that rafter and you'll mark the second jack further in depending on what centers your rafters are being nailed at. So um, typically I suppose to be nailed at 400 millimeters or 16 inches in other words, but that might necessarily always be the case. So I was just going to show you here now. So um, so there's my tape being hooked out. I'm marking the rafter centers now onto the layboard. And um, I slide my tape up and um, run out the tape again and mark the second center in for the last jack. And... Uh, that's the two marks there and you can see I did a just to 
show you where the, the, the lens will be measured from or where they are. So hopefully that was of use. Um, all the best.